Hello and good morning. You're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and oh man, my sleep patterns have been all over the map with the um, super dark moon or the second, well, to me it's the second new moon of the month. Um, so I had so much going on last night. Um, I was able to get three Patreon videos out yesterday, which was awesome, and I was able to do the one YouTube live stream, which was awesome. The rest of my day was consumed with preparation for moon work and then the moon work itself a little bit of sleep and now I have a day out with my mother yeah you guys got the notification Nina Soul's here hey Nina Soul how long have you had your dreadlocks because I just adore yours and I'm of course missing mine now that I've brushed them out hello to Tracy hello to Linda hello to Whitney so first before we say anything I have to say if you need anything, if you need an Etsy order, Patreon, it's down below in the description. Um, and I have to thank two new people who've joined the uh, group of Patreon members. That is Michelle Moore at the butterfly level, uh, and then Christina Hoffman at the, the who is uh, living out loud here on YouTube, and she is at the vampire bat level. And they both joined yesterday, so that's fantastic. Um, and then also I have a I have a couple people who do cash, and then I just send them the videos, which is really fun. Um, so I was able to like do a live stream. I'm trying to do live streams every day, but then still do my Patreon videos at least one a day. Um, so yeah, things have been going good. I'm not showing the actual working on Patreon. I'm not showing myself doing the working, but I'm showing how I'm writing the spell, what ingredients are in my working, things like that. Um, how ex I'm telling you exactly how to do it. You're just not seeing me do it because I think that's my way of doing defensive magic is by not showing every little bit of everything. So let's do what we're actually here for. Thomas Dale, are you here? Ah, five years you've had your dreadlocks. That's a long time for one set. I mean, I don't really know. Like the dreads I just did was my first set and I kept them for three and a half years. And um, it's crazy. Did you see how much hair I brushed out of my dreads? And now I have a ponytail that's like this little. It's so crazy. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I, it's been a long time since I played with hair color, and, um, since I played with hair color, and I missed that so badly, and when I did that front patch of blue, I was really starting to feel like, oh yeah, I forgot how fun it is to, like, be a girl and play with your hair. Not that having dreads isn't girly. I love doing different dread buns. You saw, you guys saw me get creative every day with my hair. Uh, well, every day that I could, out of 900 videos. So, what are we here what are we here for? Where's Thomas? Thomas is in the UK and he's probably sleeping, but I have to do this video before I go out with my mom today. So here we go. I got two packages from Thomas. I've cut them open, but I've not looked inside. Nina Soul, I miss washing my hair regularly and brushing it through. I love brushing my hair. I'm so Marsha Brady right now. Like my brush, I use a goodie brush and it makes it fluffy. My brush is always with me. And also because, um, your hair does get pretty tangly pretty easily and it's because you've got all these, or I have all these split ends from brushing out my dreads. Maybe in a couple of months I might meet a friend who's a hairstylist and we can do a trade for either magic or massage and I can get my hair done, but I can't pay for things like that. So for me it's just kind of who I meet in life and how we set up and do trades for one another. And um, Draugler. I'm so sorry I've not gotten a chance to listen to the music that you created for my channel, but I will be very soon. I promise I'll catch up. <clears throat> okay, so let's open these gifts. I'm sorry that you're not here, Thomas, but I can't wait anymore. Um, so here we go. First gift is this big old package all the way from the UK. I've been waiting for this sticker for a long time. Look at that. Royal Mail. It's Royal Mail! And there's even a stamp right there that says it's Royal Mail. Um... In the show Peep Show, which I love, there's this episode where Jez... <laughs> Sorry, that was my alarm. I'm up! There's this episode where Jez, he got drunk and decided to send a crazy love letter to Big Seuss. And then he put it in the mail, but then he decided that he didn't want to send it. So he just decides to, like, put fire into the mailbox, uh, the royal mail. And he's running away like this. And Mark says... <laughs> in his head, because you can hear what they think, which is why I love the show. He says, um, I know that funny run. And then he says out loud, Jeremy? And he's like, he tells what he was doing, he's like, 
You're burning the royal mail. That's like setting fire to a swan. It's just so good stuff. I love it. Um, so I've been waiting for some of these royal mail stickers for a while. <gasps> oh my god. Thomas, thank you. This book looks amazingly fantastic. Uh, I'll read the back of the book to you guys. It's humongous and beautiful. What a pretty book. Lots of symbolism on there, even a labyrinth in the inside. So it says, Alan Moore, Jerusalem. So I'm guessing that, and this is a lot of book. Thank you, Thomas, I'll be reading this possibly for the rest of my life, which is a good thing, right? Um, so let's see what the back says. In decaying Northampton, um, eternity loiters between housing projects among saints kings prostitutes and derelicts a timeline unravels second century friends wait in urine scented stairwells delinquent specters undermine a century with tunnels and in upstairs parlors laborers with golden blood reduce fate to a schooner tournament oh yeah schooner pool right oh is that oh snooker pool Pool tournament billiards um, through the labyrinth streets and pages of Jerusalem tread ghosts singing hymns of wealth and poverty they celebrate the English language challenge yeah uh, challenge morality post Einstein and insist upon their slum as Blake's eternal holy city fierce in its imagination and stupefying in its birth Jerusalem is the tale of everything told from a vanished gutter that's amazing. This book is just really attractive. I'm drawn to it, obviously, but holy potatoes. It's as big as my head, Thomas. Thank you, my love. Okay, so next, yeah, if you're enjoying the live stream, please hit the thumbs up. I enjoy the, um, I guess it does something to YouTube. I don't really know what, but everybody says that, so you don't have to do it. I don't really care. But if you do want to support me, there's the Patreon. I'm excited about this, too. I've got another Royal Mail sticker, and, um, look. They put the Queen right on there, don't they? Don't they? It's the Royal Mail! Um, so, I think I've talked about this a couple times. I'm going to talk about it real quickly, and then I might never talk about it again. I put an altar up for these people about four times a year. And I give offerings. And um, for those of you who don't enjoy me talking about, like, CTs and stuff, don't worry, I'm not gonna. But I'm just gonna say something. If you think something has way more power than you do, and there's almost no way you can control it. I mean, how do you treat people in life that are cruel to you? I try to kill them with kindness. You know, like, you can be mean to me, mean to me, mean to me. Um, and I almost kind of, like get off on you not getting what you want and me killing you with kindness. So in this, in this, I know that as an empath, I resonate as at a different frequency and these types of folks cannot feed off me because I have empathy. Now, no, most humans might not contain a lot of empathy because of some sorts of like, you know, bigger control. Um, so, <clears throat> I put my altar out last night on the super dark moon. So, that is my personal choice, and it's something that I think that there's way more power than me, but I'm still trying to be that little person that's putting out energy in... Yeah. I do what I like, you know? Alright, so the next box uh, looked like this, and it's really heavy, so I'm excited to get into it. Um... It's cool. The box says all these nice things on it, like, The postman always rings twice. Is that a phrase in Britain? That's so cute. Mm. Uh, or in the UK. And it says, Notes from a, s a smiling friend. Um, Never let me go. The box of delights. As you like it. Now, most people wouldn't sit there and read all these things, but if you've gotten an Etsy package from me, it's probably marked with a bunch of symbols and looks really weird. And Those are all just symbols of that vibration resonate, the protection, getting more energy into it while it's traveling on its way to you. 
Um, but I like the fact that this book just has these nice things to say all over it, the package. It's from a bookstore. It's from the Folio Society. Beautiful illustrated books. Now that's what I'm talking about. I like my illustrated books so I can do my decoupage, right? Really coming along nicely with that vintage food deck right now. I've got enough for three decks. I just have to find two more recipe boxes, which won't be hard at all. So three vintage food decks, one of which is already sold. So freaking excited. Okay, so I have a big letter here from Uncle Badger. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to read it out loud, so maybe I'll just chat amongst yourself real quick. Um, conversations between Thomas and I are private, so we'll just leave that. Okay, so first I have <laughs> a, like um, a CD. And it's this, and it's got some awesome, awesome um, music on it. Now, here's what I'm guessing that this is. Thomas Dale and I, or Uncle Badger, he used to go by Thomas Dale, <coughs> we met on Tangerine Layla's YouTube, but then we're becoming friends, and then... Randomly enough, we both comment on this um, music artist in a video, and the music artist is called 666 Doom, I think. And there's this song called She Was a Witch, and it's such a cool, like, witchy dark metal song. And I commented on it, and I was like, oh my god, you guys have to have a whole fat album like this, like, just witch based. This is so good. I would love to do my workings to it, etc., etc., etc. Never even shared that video with my Skype friends. And then. Thomas, uh, Uncle Badger, hey, you're here, you're here, you're here, woohoo, you're here, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I was trying to, like, be real slow, just in case you could show up. Um, so we both ended up commenting on this music video, and he had saw my comments, so commented back to me and was like, Jen, and I was, what? So I, I feel like this is going to be something like that, that same vibe of music, but again, Thomas, I haven't read the note because I didn't, I mean... It's private. I wanted to read it alone. There's also a copy of an album called Malleus, Your Nightmare Calls. I hope it runs all right. I'm pleased with it as the centerfold you will find your first published short story. What? Oh my god, that's amazing. So inside you wrote this? Thomas, did you write this? Hey, thanks, Janine. I appreciate it. And this band... And is the band that is like the album, oh yeah, 1792. What's the 666 Doom thing? Is that the name of their album? I can't remember. Oh my god! I think I see your name here. It just looks a little different than your normal name, so I'll cover it up. You wrote this? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Can I read it on the channel? <clears throat> I want to read it in a video all on its own. But I would love to read this on the channel, Thomas. You wrote this in 2019, this year? Wow, this is trippy, man. You're a really beautiful word craftsman. <clears throat> Muscles burned in my leg. This is just a passage. Muscles burned in my legs. Sweat dribbled down me like melting tallow fat. Every drip sapped away an iota of my strength. That was a lapping sound I could hear above the rustle of the leaves. Oh, was that a lapping sound I could hear above the rustle of the leaves? Yes! That beast was at my heels, eating away at my very being. Streamers of soul burn off me as pain broiled through every fiber of my being. Man, you're brilliant. That's fantastic, Thomas. I'm so proud of you. That's cooler than what I've done. You're actually in print, you know? Wow. You're a big deal! Hey! I got a book on Ogum, the, uh, Ogum, the Celtic Oracle of the Trees. Yes! And a coupon? Oh, good. Well, I have free delivery worldwide of 20 million books. So is this a new bookshop that we need to go to, Thomas? The Book Depository? Is this just in the UK? It says worldwide. Hey, Erica lady! How are you, darling? <laughs> the bookmark says, sorry, I don't have time today. I'm booked. Um, Alex just recently got a shirt that says, I'm introverted. Unless you want to talk about plants. It's hilarious. 
Were there any pouches in there? Well, I'm not done through the box yet. Yes, I, I've not gotten to the pouches yet. Um, I've just, in the box, opened this, the letter, and the book. So, Ogun, the Celtic Oracle of the Trees. This is really exciting, because I don't, I only have one book on the Celts, and I think it's just the sex, um, the sex rituals. And I just got that because, you know, when you go to half-price books, I just want to have as many metaph metaphysical books on my shelf as I can. It doesn't matter what pantheon they come from, I put them all together and I take all the information from everywhere and create my own ideas, right? Um, so this is what I've got. I'm really excited to read it. I love, you know, the whole symbol of the tree of life in the circle. That's gorgeous. Understanding casting and interpreting an ancient druidic alphabet. So this is going to help me with my ruins. That's really cool. The ancient druidic alphabet. Wow. I'm really excited to get into this. And that's why eventually, like maybe in my mid 40s, I can come over to the UK and do my caravanning around there so that I can learn from people that are in the land, you know? Okay, so here I've got a tissue, and I'm going to see what's inside. Feels like a rock. The green pouch goes with it. Oh, with the book. Okay, so let's open the green pouch. <gasps> well, A, I love the pouch because it's like this really cool wool material. And it reminds me of old um, military jackets. And I'm guessing that you made me a set of runes, dude. I'm really excited. This is the only sort of divination that I have never really delved into that I know of. Um, I mean, there's, you can divine any way you want. I could look into Effie's eyes with a candle and divine if I wanted to. It's hand-stitched, I can tell, dude. And I love hand-stitching. Most of my stuff is all hand-stitched. Remember, you guys, when we're tying things in, we're tying that intent. We're binding our intent to that, um, to that item. And then Thomas has put some leather strips in here, so that's really cool because I have spirit animal from cow. And if this is indeed wool, then I have a spirit animal that I can contact and be with for these, with the, um, the sheep. Or the, the sheep or the lamb, or you can even make goat's wool. But anyway... Um, so think about that, you guys, when you're just holding something in your hand and you're like, it's inanimate. Look deeply. Did the, did the products of itself, and he says it is wool. Did the products itself come from nature? Did they come from an animal? Hey, Ricky, how are you? We're seeing what Thomas has sent me from, um, from the UK and I'm really excited. So now we've got this really rad white cloth, which I'm sure is special. I can smell you, Thomas. Let me tell everybody what you smell like. You know, like when somebody burns a lot of incense or stuff in their house and then everything they have smells good? Like, it smells like clean plus incense plus, I don't know how to explain, but like ancient. It just smells clean, incense, ancient. <laughs> Those are the three words I get from this. So if you guys want to smell Thomas, that's what he smells like. He smells great. Uh, so let's look at what we've got here. <gasps> oh my god, they're vibrating all over my hands. These are amazing. Oh my goodness. So they've all got one of the rune symbol burnt onto them. <clears throat> These are so cool, Thomas. I don't know if it's upside down or not. I thought it might be that way. So I'm going to learn the ruins. And I, Thomas, I used this book to work with them, right? Yeah, this wood is absolutely beautiful. So we've got all these different symbols burnt onto the woods. And I'm excited today while I'm in the car and out and about to start reading about ruins. Yeah, just the one thing that, you know, before I ran out of money doing that really good job when I was buying all my witchcraft stuff was just one of the things I hadn't picked up yet. These are beautiful. Listen to the way they sound, you guys. They sound amazing. Like, tink, 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 tink. And the smell is just... I don't know, Thomas. 
You're a cool guy. Thank you so, so much. This is amazing. Hey, Sue Ann! How are you? Welcome to the chat. We're opening gifts from friends all over the world. Dear, 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 dear friends. Thomas, this is so rad. It's uh, not rad, it's killer. It's killer! And when I do my stuff, it's like this. It's like I don't... Well, A, I don't know how to use my sewing machine, but B, I feel like if I were to use my sewing machine, I would take so much intent out of the... And I just, I'm not going to lie, I like the way things look when they're hand-stitched. Maybe not the shirt I'm wearing today, but why not? But these little things that we use um, are little hoodoo mojo bags and, and things like that. All sewn by hand. All that intent is just being shoved and then knotted into there and locked. When you, when you put intention into a knot and you pull it tight and you say over that, or you breathe or you whisper onto the knot and pull it tight, you are locking that intention into that working. So with each of these stitches and final knots, you're really locking that intention in. This is amazingly gorgeous. I'm going to have this with me today with this book. That's what I'll be taking out and about with me. Um, and then today, you guys, I'm definitely having this with me. If you have any questions and you want me to look up any herbs, just put it in the comments of this video. And while I'm out and about today, I'll just type you, uh, like, you're like, Jen, do you know any information about um, cinnamon? Or do you know any information about star anise? Or whatever. I'll look it up in this book for you. There's over 500 things. And what I'll do is I'll just, this is what I'm talking about. He's parked right behind my bedroom window and his house is so far away. That he is right over my offering spot right now. That's where they had the tractor the other day. And last summer they used to put their lawn chairs right in front of my bedroom window. Anyway, I just had to show you that like... I'm so ready to get out of here and get to my mom's place where we have an acre. And the neighbors, yeah, they're crazy, but you know, they stay away. And you can't see them out your window. Um, so I'm really excited, really excited to take this around. Um, and I want to know, Thomas, were you here when I talked about this? Were you here when I was talking about that offering stuff? Because I want to know what Thomas thinks about it. Since, well, I just want to know. Um, okay, so can I open this one now, Thomas? The tissue with, I think, the rock inside? He's making me very nervous. And he did not like when I flipped the camera at him, so. I don't like that he's over my offering spot with a giant truck. Why does there need to be a truck right there? It's early in the morning. It's 8 in the morning! Oh my gosh, like, what are people thinking? Um, I didn't see the offering box. Oh, well, um, Thomas, when you get a chance, watch the beginning of the video, the first five minutes or whatever, and tell me what you think about what I said about this, this stuff. Okay, because I don't want to re-say it again. All right, so here, not because I don't have the energy, just because I don't want people to. No, that's not the pervert landlord. That's the people, the other neighbor, that when the landlord was drunk, he sold my backyard to. So when we bought this house, to, or when we re started renting this house, we had a backyard mm -hmm. behind my bedroom window. But one night, the, the neighbor was drinking, and then he knows that he's drunk, so he goes over to his house, and he goes, can I buy that strip of land for this awesome amount of money? He goes, sure. Uh, and so now he's just back there all the time. And last summer, they set up yard chairs on a sunny day facing my bedroom window. And I put a, a note in my window that says, um, you're a pervert. Like, you guys are all perverts. And I put notes all over my window that said, you guys are perverts. Um, they stopped. Obviously, they didn't like that. But, I mean, why Why am I, like, anywhere I go, so this, this cycle's going to stop. The cycle of crazy-ass neighbors is going to stop. <laughs> All right, so in my hand from this tissue, oh, what is it? It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh, I have so many friend rocks. I have this friend rock from Brenda that I'm always, always, always hanging on to and with. Um, and now I have this one from Thomas, but Thomas, is it a sigil, or is it a symbol, or should I bury it, or... And I have this from Magical Mandy. All my little friend charms are on my window. Whoop! And I think Tess made me this one. 
but it may have been Brenda. I think it was Tess, though. And then Joyce Jordan. I hang my earrings on it, but she made me this killer evil eye um, by hand with some mistletoe, I do believe. Uh, no! But I have all my friend stuff there in my window, so Thomas, that will go there. And I'll get to see you every day! Um, so please do tell me, what is this? It's a bind ruin for friendship! You've bound our friendship. I love it. Did you kiss it? <laughs> I kissed it. I don't, I'm, I'm guessing you kissed it before you sent it out. I don't know. Is it a special type of stone or is it just a rock that you loved? It's really pretty. Hi, Winding Witch. How are you, honey? Nice to see you. Try some hot foot powder on there. I've done that, Mama Wolf. Seriously. I've done hot foot powder and then he ends up in the hospital. And so I stopped doing hot foot powder and then I went to... You did kiss it! I knew it because I was just like... Rrr. Um... No, um... I did... I was trying little things and they weren't working, okay? I was burying things under my front porch. I was burying things at the property line. I was you know, doing certain types of things that I just don't want to say all of them. And then nothing was working, so I was like, fuck it, I'll do hot foot. Because it got to the point where now he's calling me a beauty queen when I come out of the car and stuff and just harassing me all the time. And making me even more agoraphobic than I already am. Agoraphobic. Where you don't want to leave your house or your property. Um, and so I did the hot foot, and then the, I don't know, four or five hours later because he comes out for cigarettes, so I knew he would come out and walk over it. Um, he, there was an ambulance at the house, so I just was like, yeah! But the thing is, is that he drinks himself to the point, and he's got diabetes, so he, the ambulance is always coming, but still, it was four hours after I did that, and I was just like, okay, back... So now I've been using my black salt, and it keeps him away for like three days, and then I just have to redo it again. So I don't know. You know, that's just the honest truth. But honestly, the... The ambulance is here twice a month for him anyway, so it could have been on a random, but, you know, it was the only time I did hot foot. So these are the things you guys need to note down in your book of shadows, you know. The date, the moon phase, the time of day you did it, all that stuff. That way if you ever learn more about like, oh, well, it didn't work because it was on a Thursday, and Thursday's the day of this planet, you know. Hey, Tampi, how are ya? So, the next bag that I've got, and I believe it's the... Nope, there's more in the box. Um, I've got this bag. And it's similar to the green one, but it's black. Gray. The still cool wool. So, again, we have two animal spirits. We have this leather strip, and then we have the wool of the sheep. And inside... I know what these are! I'm going to guess that they're bottle cap ruins that you made for me. Because, listen. So he's just ripped up a t-shirt. Oh, no. Cotton white cloth. That's what this is. I thought it was a t-shirt. Oh, these are amazing. So they're beer caps that have been painted. Thomas, did you drink these beers? These are amazing. I love these. You could definitely sell these. People would dig these. So did you drink these beers, Thomas? Yeah, these are amazing. So I've got all my little ruins here. I've got two sets now. So I've got a wooden stick set, and then I've got this bottle cap set. And I'm sure people have done this before, because, you know, but it was very creative and very, very cool. Thanks, dude. I mean, this gives people so many motivational ideas. Ah! Tampi is like, I'm pissed I didn't think of this. As soon as Thomas Dale said, Ooh, you could save your beer caps for making um, ruins. I've been saving my beer caps of, like, when I get special German beer, which actually I'm not, I'm not purchasing beer anymore. So I've kind of stopped drinking. I'm saving toward my future, and buying alcohol is ridiculous to me right now. It makes me feel happy for a very short time, and then I feel sad, and I don't get much done. Because I just want to, like, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, so it's, it's been pushing me away from my dreams for a long time. So if there's alcohol, 
and you want me to have some, I'll have some. But I'm not going to be purchasing alcohol anymore. And there's a couple other things that I've decided to take out of my life with this new change that's coming. And um, they go with the big blue book in the box. This one. So these are for the bottle caps. Which is interesting. Hey, Thomas, did you think of this idea because these look like bottle caps? Tell the truth. The taxes on liquor are madness. It is! And honestly, at 37 years old, because, like, if I'm going to drink, I want to do it to have fun, not to just... These people that sip on wine with dinner, I'm like, no. Even good wine to me is not that good. I just drink it to, like, gulp, gulp, gulp. And catch a buzz and have fun and, like enter this phase in my head where I don't have to worry and for empaths that's a big deal like we need an escape from the feeling all of the time well that escape of the feeling is keeping us so far away from what we need and want so if you guys see me struggling a little bit in the next couple of months it's just because I'm giving up some things that I've you know I've not reached my goals and I'm 37. It's because of these things. Or, if I wasn't doing these things and I put all that money in savings, which I'm now trying to do, um, then I can reach my goal. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Holy shit. I got to get this right now. Thomas, let's get through. I'll forget. So I have to get the thing and then we'll start with, I'll be right back. Shite. Where's my head? There it is. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'll tell you about this as soon as I'm done showing Thomas's gift, but I started something really amazing last night, and I want to inspire you guys to do it too. Um, and I should have told you about it yesterday, but I literally had a thousand things on my plate. What are you doing parked in front of my bedroom window? Like he, what? There's another truck out there now. Like, are they... You cut off all your hair last night? Oh, when you now you're going to have dreams you have long hair. So I'm going to be working with this runic book. Um, it's got everything it's going to teach me is in here, which I'm super excited about what all these symbols mean. Hey, so Thomas, so I have a question. If I... So I start by reading... The, th this is going to be great because for those of you who haven't done runes yet, you're going to learn with me on the channel. Um, absolutely. And so we'll learn this together, and we'll gain confidence with this together, and that's super exciting to look forward to. Um, but Thomas, do you suggest reading these books and then playing? Or do you, like, what method do you suggest I go about to start doing this? Because it's not like I can look up the shape in the book, in the index, to see what that means. Whereas, if a tarot card says the fool, I can go in the book and look up the fool. But I don't know this ruin language, so do I just start learning in the workbook? Well, I'll read the introduction. How about that? I'm sure the introduction will help me. Oh, look, you can work with flowers and ruins, gemstones and ruins, numerology. That's amazing. <gasps> the Alio Saxton foot. Um, Futhork. Futhork. Oh, wow. I'm really excited. I'm really excited! Yeah, we must see your hair, Tampi. Are you connected us with us on Skype? You should. Okay, so I've got more things in here. I've got this awesome 2000 AD freak out, deep space disturbance, and brink. 
What is it? Is it a comic? Oh, shit, this is cool. Oh, I know what I want to do with this, Thomas. Oh my god. I decoupage these with like usually comic strips or pinups or sometimes men want pictures of guns all over them, whatever. Um, or men or women, whatever. <laughs> um, so I decoupage these mannequin busts. They're the same ones that like hang up at the store. But they look great on your wall when they're decoupaged in your favorite thing. And what I do is when I put comics on them, like I get vintage Wolverine comics or some cool comics with wicked graphics. And then I cut them out, I put the shapes, I decoupage them all over the entire body so the whole thing is covered. And I call it Tits and Comics. And I was going to take them to Comic-Cons because I thought oh, all the boys there would love them. You know? And probably lots of the girls there would love them too. Like, I would love that. But anyway, um, so I don't know if this magazine is for me to take pictures out of because the pictures are amazing. They're really cool. I like all the red scenes, but there's some pretty wicked images in there. Don't know if you wanted to photocopy some pages. Yeah, 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 because this just looks is really inspiring for the mannequin tits and comic stuff that I do. So, thanks, dude. This is great. So I'm going to read this comic, because I do enjoy comics. Yeah. Man, look at this stuff. This is just inspiring to make art in general. Okay, so I think I've got one more book in here. Yep, one more bookie. Fortean Times, The World of Strange Phenomena. Wow, cool. So this is an issue that maybe has something that's interesting to me. <laughs> I see dead people, meatloaf contacts the spirit world. Eastern Apocalypse, Russia's prophets of Eurasian supremacy. Magic and the Orientism from Alexander the Crystal Seer to Dr. Strange. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, look! Look at these pictures! That's what I'm saying. Like, that picture would look... Don't fall. Amazing as the focal point right below the boobs. So, like, here. If I put that picture here, that would look wicked. I'm doing it doing it. So yeah, I do these either custom order or I make my own. I put them on my Etsy. I don't have any on Etsy right now, but they take about three weeks to make while I'm doing my other projects. Um, and you can custom order them whatever shape you want. And I have seven or eight of these mannequins. Shipping's a bitch. It's probably 30 or 40 bucks, but man, it's worth it. So hey, if you guys are interested in any of that, you let me know. My Etsy shop's down below. My Patreon's down below where you can watch Patreon-only videos, which is, you know, the bulk of what I'm doing right now. Oh, God. Look at all these different pictures in here. They're just so good. They're just so, so good. Thomas, thank you so much. I learned something today, you guys. I was watching videos this morning while I was getting ready, and I want to tell you what I learned. Did you know that, uh... You know, like, the Great Sphinx in Africa? Egypt, excuse me. Right. That kind of lays like Effie. But behind her head, she's got this, and it looks like a cape. Do you guys know what that represents? That look of the kind of cape behind the head? Do you know what that represents? That. Behind the head. I just need one person to guess. Uh, Uncle Badger. It's called 14 after Charles Fort, like collecting anecdotes of the weird stuff you've heard of. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys know what it means when you have that, sh like, sheet behind your head? I just need one person to guess, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> I know you guys said what, but I need someone to guess. What do you think it is? Right, but it's, it's like a pharaoh, but why did all the pharaohs wear this behind their head? Hey, Grey Rabbit, how are ya? Hi, kitty. 
Um, I'll tell you guys in a sec. Royalty? Good guesses, you guys. These are really good guesses because lots of royalty throughout the beginnings of times, Babylon, etc., wore headdresses like this. But what did it... Doesn't that look like a cobra? You know how the back of a cobra, the, the, it comes out behind their head? This is meant... Ha <laughs> ha! Uncle Badger, right? Um, no, this is meant to be the cobra look to represent the serpent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty trippy, and anytime you see it, you can be like, oh, okay, they're just in, that's, that's the symbol of the cobra. Mm -hmm. And whether these people know it or not, because it's been done for so long, that is what that represents. Hey, JR, sweetie, this is my local friend. I'm working but have to pipe in. I have one of those mannequins to donate to your sweet soul. Dude, that's awesome, because I'm giving JR Otis's old cat backpack. JR has a psychic cat named Coco, which I cannot wait to meet. JR and I live like two hours away, so we're excited to see each other. Um, while Alex is gone, she's going to come visit. It'll be very, very fun. Um, so I'm giving Coco, her cat, Otis's old cat backpack. So Otis's old cat backpack, and it, it's one of those spaceship backpacks where the cat has a bubble they can put their head through. It's so awesome! Yeah, JR, you know when you come... We could try and do runes together, because Thomas just sent me these two handmade sets, and they're gorgeous. I know, right, Uncle Badger? Her cat seems so special, I cannot wait to meet her. So, yes, if you want to donate a mannequin to me, or taxidermy, anybody, I'd love it. And, um, I always have things to give, so it's one of my favorite things to do, is give, and, um... I don't need anything in return. I just like the giving aspect. And then I'm always excited and happy when I get something back. But I don't... I try not to expect anything in life. And that really does help with stuff. But anyway, I just learned that this morning. And I feel like I learned it for a reason to tell you guys. Because uh, I just happened upon that. So, Uncle Badger. Thank you so much for all the amazing gifts. Like, there's some just such precious things here. And I think one of my favorite things... Like, I can't pick a favorite thing... But I'm really attached to this, so. Now I can kiss you whenever I like. Okay, so I want to show you something that I made last... Well, I started it yesterday. I planted the seeds. I didn't finish it, but I started a vision board for my future. And what I started it out of was... You know how I dismember books? And I take all the innards out of books? And then I used the pages, because this book is called Full Moon. And it had so many, like, beautiful, beautiful pages of pictures of <laughs> pictures of the moon. And, you know, I'm not even going to go into that. <laughs> but, yeah, beautiful pictures. What I did was I took all the pages out. And then, you know how there's two black cover pages before the white pages? I kept those in, and then I Mod Podged them down. So now I have this big frame type of thing, right? And on the back of the frame is this moon. And I'm going to cover up the part that says full. And then I'm going to write the word dark. And I'm going to probably do that in something like this. You know, like just um, take the whole thing away. And then do ransom letters over that. And make it say dark moon. And um, just have that moon there because I planted these seeds now. And then yesterday I cut out all the pictures I want to be in my vision board. And um, when it's done, you know, I want to take a long time with it because um, I want to be looking at this for a long time, focusing on what I want. But I planted the seeds. I took all the pictures and decided the intent for each picture yesterday during this time of manifestation and planting seeds. And so I was really excited to show you guys that. I thought it was fun and creative. Um, so yeah, dismembering books, one of my favorite things to do since I was a kid. I used to get in big trouble for it. Now people like it. So yeah, superior. The cover is awesome. It really is. And I think I paid like three bucks for that book at, at a thrift shop. You know... If you've got time, go to the thrift shop, dink around in the books, and you can find some amazing artistic illustrations and pictures, and they're all just one set price, or whatever. Um, Thomas, I opened this before you got here. Is this a novel? You might have to read this to me on our trip. 
I want to have somebody that drives with me and helps me. They can read this to me. It's got so many big words. I'm going to need my dictionary. Like, it's teeny tiny print and giant words and a jillion pages. Let's see how many pages it has. Oh, who wants to guess how many pages are in this book? Every single page has a number. Somebody guess how many pages are in this book. How many pages are in this book? They're thin pages. <laughs> Kitty, 5,000? Nope. Whitney, higher. Higher than Whitney. Library has shelf fundraising books for a dollar or less often. Coffee table books. I love that. <laughs> right, Erica Lady? I wish. Um, almost, Ricky. So it has... I forgot already. 1296. 1296 pages. <laughs> oh... This is maybe my biggest book because it's bigger than it. I love you guys are all guessing. Hey, Drogler, I talked to you earlier in the video and I apologize that I've been so busy and I haven't had time to listen to the music yet. But I'm going to try and make a point to do that today and get caught up on my messages and things like that. So thank you. I love them too. Do you know how long it took to do this to my hair? I took each strip and curled it individually last night. And then I slept on it. It looked way better before I slept on it. It took... Oh, this is a lovely thing to tell you, too. I, I, I don't think it's... Yeah, I think it's okay to tell you. So, um... Fuck. Where do I start? Uh, one of the ways that I honor Bastet, it is 600,000 words in it, and it's roughly the length of six average novels, right? Like, 300 pages each on the novel. Um, it took me two to three hours last night to do my hair. I curled all of these pieces by hand. And what I did was I, dedica I dedicated me getting gussied up and I put on full makeup and I did some eyes. Uh, I did an eye of raw on my eyes with makeup. And I had my hair and I sat with my Bastet offering and lit. I lit candles know, gave her some water, freshened up her offerings, etc. And I did my hair for her. Uh, I didn't do a video with my hair done. I didn't go out on the town after I took two or three hours doing my hair. I did that to dedicate it to her. Bastet loves beauty. She loves beauty. She loves everything that has to do with being feminine, being a woman, um, dancing, um, stubbornness. Uh, so, what I did was I said, Bastet, um, I'm doing my hair for you. And this beauty, this energy, this what I'm doing, this focus is geared towards you. So I, I didn't go on live last night. I just sat with her instead. And then I haven't worked with her in a while since I've been working with Santa Muerte. Um, hey, Herbal Medicine and Magic Back to Natural Cycles. So good to see you in the chat. Um, so that's another thing you can do. You can sing, you can dance, you can drink, you can do your hair and makeup and honor those things to Bastet. Um, obviously I like cats, you know, it's no secret. I have Bastet tattooed on my leg. Um, I really should up update that tattoo video. Yep, yep. So, um, I think I talked about everything. Mom and I, uh, Peggy and I are getting ready to have a super fun day. Um, we're going over to Seattle and, um, visiting some family, and then just kind of having a short trip over there and coming home. Hey, Fairy House, I sent the sunshine your way in your video so I can learn. That's fantastic. Thank you. No, really, I wouldn't be the person that I am without your guys' friendship. Uh, and that really means a lot to me. So today, while I'm out and about, if you're watching this message after, or if you're in the chat right now, Wait till the video is done and make a comment and I'll look something up for you while I'm out and about today. That's my promise to you guys that I'll have this book on me and then I'll message you back if your needs are in this book. So, um, whenever I, almost whenever I leave the house, but especially if I leave town, I always take this book. Um, it, again, if this book cost $1,000 and I had to start making payments on it today, I would. Um, because... Like I showed in the Patreon videos yesterday, with I showed you how to use page 276 and, um, and all the magical intentions. 
and we put together a spirit connection, uh, spirit communication oil, and I had such good dreams last night. I did have a connection in my dreams with the spirit I was trying to communicate with. Well, both of them, but I, it's kind of hard to explain. I was in one of their bodies, like, I was my granddad and I was talking to my grandma. It was really trippy. Um, I really still have to figure that out. But I put out, um, you know, I can't show you their altar, I'm really, really sorry, but that's just, it's too precious. Um, so I put their baby pictures there, a picture of them together, a love note my grandpa wrote my grandma in 1942, right before they got married. Um, I gave grandpa a cigarette and a cigar and three Reese's Pieces. And Grandma, I uh, gave her a gold pendant with an M for Maggie and three Reese's Pieces. And um, then Justin, my human rib bone. Hey, dude, can I talk to you? So Justin, my human rib bone. If you need these human rib bones, let me know. It just will take me a month to get one to you, but I can get you human parts. I found a place near me. So this is Justin. And uh, I thought, what better way to connect to... The spirit world than to ask a piece of human flesh and bone to help me and so I set up a little altar for him and then got my Rose of Jericho going got the spirit mm. oil made and ouch selenites up there etc and um, I just asked for him to if Justin is a part of that other side, and I have a little bit of him, literally a little bit of his body, then I was asking with these offerings that I give, is there any way you can tap into my grandparents a little easier than I can? And I ended up with a dream last night where I saw my grandpa and grandma, but I was my grandpa. And I was having a conversation with my grandma. And I will not divulge the words in that conversation, but um, these are things that you dream journal. These are things that you note down. Um, and you can decode later if you can put all your dreams together and just look at the sequence of how things came out. Um, yeah, and I lit a candle for JR. I lit a candle for so many people last night. I have people in the hospital. Uh, um, there's a lot of people on our channel that are very ill right now. Um, so we need to be giving some major loving energy to just the whole TTW vibe. And um, before I forget, I just wanted to thank Michelle Moore for joining Patreon at the Butterfly level yesterday. And Christina Hoffman, Hoffman who is living out loud here in our community. And she joined at the Vampire Bat level of $5 a month. And I can't thank you guys enough because the Patreon's growing a little bit every day. And you guys are getting more videos and benefits as well, outside of even the videos at your different taxidermy themed levels. So my promise to you guys is that if you need any herbal help today, please, please, please put it in the comments after the video is done and I will message you straight away. Okay. So I'm going to end this video and I'm going to end it by thanking Thomas for like all the lovely things. I can't thank you enough. I finally have parts of your energy with me. Um, I was able to give you a kiss because we both kissed that rock that you made me. So that is super special to me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go before I cry. Uh, I'm going to hang out with my mom today. And if you guys need anything, below in the description, Etsy, Patreon, and leave me a message uh, in the comments here and I'll look up any herbs you need. So just, yes, exactly, Jared. That's the perfect phrasage. Immense gratitude. And so much love to all of you guys. Thank you for being with me this morning. Um, and I'll see you soon. I love you so much. Ta.